<laughs> Thanks for watching KKL News Mornings at 9. Yeah, the 10 at 10 with Amy Johnson starts right now. After long stints in Russian prisons and convictions in Russian courts, a group of Americans will soon be heading home in a prisoner exchange. First, a gas shut off. Now people in Rancho Palos Verdes facing the uncertainty of inspections that could force them out of their homes as land movement continues. And no sign of letting up another attempted home burglary in an ongoing issue in the San Fernando Valley. This is KCAL News Mornings. Hello and welcome to the 10 at 10. I'm Amy Johnson. Here are some of the other stories that we're tracking for you this Thursday, August 1st. In story number four, the latest on Team USA's quest for gold at the Paris Olympics. And in story number six, a long running KCAL investigation into a DNA database for newborns. It starts to expose what it was all used for. And then in story number nine, we're going to sit down for our weekly chat with the biggest stories from the LA Sentinel. But first, let's check in with our meteorologist, Marina Jurica. She's joining us now with your next weather forecast. Good morning, Marina. Good morning, Amy. Well, we are starting to warm things up. It's gonna get pretty toasty as we head into the next couple of days. And we are gonna say goodbye to the 90s and the triple digits returning tomorrow. So get ready for the heat to return after a nice little reprieve. Downtown Long Beach, you can see that we are still getting a little bit of that marine layer haze, but it's already 74 degrees and the sunshine will rule the day and we are looking at a pretty warm 83 in Simi Valley already 82 in Pasadena and San Bernardino 68 in Laguna Beach and 92 in Palmdale and so as we take a look at our highs today we will be seeing the mid 70s for the beaches however the mid 80s return to the LA and OC metro upper 90s for the valleys in the Inland Empire 104 for the high desert and 84 for the mountains with a chance of thunderstorms starting today and overnight tonight into tomorrow, especially really 7 p.m. tonight to about 7 a.m. tomorrow is going to be a prime time 20% chance for some isolated thunderstorms. I'm going to break down how that is going to increase our fire risk as we head into the next 60 minutes. Amy? All right, thanks so much. Driving in Southern California can be, well, you know, slow. KCAL traffic keeps you moving. With the where, when, and which way to go. Be prepared for now and what's next. Next traffic on KCAL News. Now you can get your KCAL News weather and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.